Hey, what's up my friends? In this video, I am going to walk you through setting up your PayPal so that you can offer PayPal as a payment gateway and customers can pay you via PayPal. All right, but before we dive into this, you already know informed decisions are the best decisions. Be mindful of how many different payment systems you are using in your business. Okay, when you're using Cash App, Venmo, Square, PayPal, Stripe, you're using all of these different payment processors, these payment gateways, it makes it almost impossible for you to keep track of your accounting. Now, unless you're using a specific accounting software that pulls all of this data together, then I don't see a problem. It, maybe it works for you, but if you don't, again, just be mindful of how many different payment gateways you're using because it can become a problem later on down the road. Now, PayPal is a very common payment tool that a lot of people use. So weighing the odds, the, the, you know, the, the pros and the cons here, I would say that my recommendation would be to connect your PayPal because it, it is, again, a, a very common payment tool that a lot of people use. And, and you want to be able to offer that for people to be able to pay you via PayPal. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to jump into our high level dashboard. We're going to jump into our sub account. Okay. And so inside of our sub account, we're going to click on payments and inside of payments, we are going to go into integrations. And now inside of integrations, we are going to find our payment or our PayPal payment integration. Okay. You can already see that we have Stripe connected, which we did earlier. Super easy. Same thing with PayPal. Super easy. We're going to hit connect right there. And now you can see that it's asking for a live client ID and a sandbox client ID. And the difference basically is, is that one of them is live. Okay. And the other one is used for testing. So if you wanted to run some sort of like uh, dummy uh, payment, a test payment, because you're testing the system, um, you want to have this one created as well. And when you're processing real payments from clients, we're going to create that live one. So we're going to go ahead and do both of them so that we have both of these features uh, available to us. So we're going to log into PayPal. Okay. So when you log into your PayPal dashboard, it'll look like this. Inside of this PayPal dashboard, you're going to click on developer up in that top right hand section and now it's going to bring us to our paypal developer dashboard and so inside of here we're going to click on apps and credentials and you can see that we have two options right here we have sandbox and we have live so to start off with we're going to leave it on sandbox and you can see that i've already created uh mine right there okay so when we click on sandbox we're going to create app and you're going to label this app name the best recommendation that I can give is to make it identifiable by, um, I would say the business name and then the tool that you're using. So that's kind of how I went about it right here for ours. This is THTC for the Healing Tree Collective and I'm using it for our CRM. So <clears throat> that's what you would do. And then the uh, merchant, the type, you would select merchant and then go ahead and create app. And let's go ahead and click on that because it's going to bring you to a window that looks like this and it's going to give you your client ID and it's going to give you the secret key. All right, let's go ahead and hit copy on that client ID. We're going to go back into our high level uh, accounts and let's go ahead and put that into the sandbox because that is what we had selected. And let's go back over here. That's right. We do have a sandbox selected. So now we're going to take the secret key and go back and drop that into, I keep calling it key. I'm just used to calling these, all these things keys because it's usually an API key and all that stuff. And now we're going to plug that in there. We're going to hit save and bada bing, bada boom, voila. We have our sandbox uh, PayPal <clears throat> payment gateway selected. All right. So now let's go back to PayPal, our developer dashboard. And now we're going to toggle this to our live ID. And then same thing where let's go ahead and hit create app. You're going to name this one. Um, again, some similar thing. I just did THTC CRM and I just added live. I don't really know that I'm going to need to identify it by that, but 
I just went ahead and did it anyway. I don't think it really matters as long as you can identify it. <clears throat> so same thing. Let's go ahead and take that client ID. Let's go back over to high level and let's paste that in there. Go back to PayPal, copy that. I'm sure that's copied. Yep. Drop that into our secret ID. Okay. Paste, bada bing, bada boom. Voila, we have our both our sandbox and our live payment gateway connected. Now we have both PayPal and Stripe connected. Now you can offer both of those payment process, uh, payment gateways when you're uh, either getting people to uh, book you for any of your appointments, to pay you for any of your classes, to pay for any of your services, to pay for any of your products, any of those, of those things. You now have both of those uh both of those payment gateways available all right my friends well that was fun right heck yeah that was fun heck yeah that was fun we have so much more to go and i'm looking forward to it and i'm excited to continue to dive into this bad boy and get all this stuff set up with you guys all right my friends thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video